All right, let's get right into it. So I just picked up my first Fine Creek and Co. leather jacket. This is also my first Shinky Horsehide jacket. And man, is it a beauty. So I've got this from the shop Vancouver. I was in Vancouver for uh, over Christmas, for Christmas. And um, went to visit my friend TJ at the shop Vancouver. Make sure if, you, if you're ever in Vancouver, you got to make sure you stop in and say what's up to TJ. Amazing shop. Great guy. And uh, so I had an idea. I was going to get a type 1 or type 2 jacket from TJ. That was the idea as soon as I landed in Vancouver. And then I'm glad I waited because I saw that he posted these, this jacket on uh, Insta. And so as soon as he posted those, I went in, tried this on. I wanted to try it on. I wanted to see uh, the color in person. There's two different, it has a brown and this one they call black, but it's not really black once you see it in person. And I'm glad I waited because I don't have a Fine Creek and I do, do not have a um, Shinky hide jacket. So it was a win-win. <laughs> patience, my friend, patience. But yeah, so this is a, this is a really, really cool jacket. Uh, very, very soft. Much softer than the other jackets that I picked up from TJ that are also horse hide. Uh, the Y2, which I have the Y2 here next to me because I wanted to compare the colors because they say this one is black. And they also call this one here black. But as you can see, it's not black. It's like a brownish kind of color. And I've been wearing this one a lot. I wore this one... Uh, I didn't wear, wear it out there, but I wore it when I went back home uh, to Chicago. I took that with me because, you know, you just want to get these, wear these in. And I know a lot of you guys ask me, how are your coats breaking in? How are they looking? Um, I should, let's, let's see, what should I put on? I'll put this one on just to show you guys because I've been wearing this quite a lot. I get tons of compliments on it. And then I'll put this one on, uh, the reason why you clicked on the video. <laughs> so let's do that really quickly. This is what I wore today, actually. I wore that jacket today uh, out in the city uh, with this actual outfit that I have on right now. If you're wondering, uh, and I'm sure some of you will ask, have questions, this is a Ship John shirt and the vest is from Freenote. So here is this Y2 jacket, coat jacket that I've been wearing quite a bit. As you can see, it is definitely much, uh, softer now than previously and I still am not able to button it yet. The Y2, closing a Y2 with the buttons is difficult. The other with the zipper is much easier but the buttons I no, haven't been able to do that yet. <laughs> but just so you can have a look, see how it has been breaking in and they call it black but it's definitely not black. It is like brown, brownish color but on, the, uh, on their website, they call it black. Okay, so let's get back to this Shinky. So this is, let me roll up my sleeves. This is an A1 flight jacket style type 1.2 millimeter Shinky leather T-core. And this has the uh, Corozo nut buttons on it. Let me give you a close-up of that. You can see a close-up of the buttons on there. And then the cool thing, it has, it has the buckles on the side and you can really see that T-core there on, the, uh, on that leather. Now let's put this bad boy on. So this one is definitely easier to button because the leather is much softer than the, uh, the Y2 horse hides. This uh, Shinky is definite. And it's also kind of has a matte color than the, the Y2 that I just had on. It's a bit of a uh, more muted. This baby fits so nicely. Look at this thing. This is such a beautiful, beautiful jacket. Now I said the leather is soft, really supple. You can see the back, do a little spin for you so you can see the back of the jacket. I wore this one yesterday when I was running a few errands. Now, the one thing, the negative about this there are no inside pockets. So that to me was a bit of a turnoff because I like to be able to put either my phone or just something, my cards 
in my inside pocket. And then I, what I would do is just leave these closed instead of putting, you know, keys or whatever, um, my cards in these pockets. It'd be nice to just have them closed just to keep the shape. So an inside pocket for your phone would be cool. But I think what ideally what, what will happen is if it is cool enough, what I'll do is just, I could wear this vest and then I can put my phone in the pocket here. I'll show, I'll give you an example here. So an example would be, I would put my phone here if I'm wearing a vest in this pocket, close it, and then you keep that shape so you're not bulky. The one, there's a few things that I don't like. You see like when guys have their big phone in their front pocket and you see that bulk and it's just not an attractive look, have all that. So if you can keep your silhouette nice and slim, have your phone here hidden, right there. Perfect, I love inside pockets. This one has two inside pockets, which is perfect. I can throw in uh, my phone in one and my cards in the other and out the door and not worry about being too bulky. So size wise, TJ and I uh, wear the same size. Uh, he, this is a 40 and he's a 40 as well. So um, when I saw him wearing, he was wearing the brown color in his Insta. I knew I was like, okay, I, I knew which size I, I needed to get because we wear the same size. What else about this beautiful thing? <laughs> I'm just like very excited uh, about, uh, about this. It is really cold right now in New York City, so I wasn't gonna wear this one out today because I needed something <laughs> a little bit, tiny bit warmer. Um, the green car coat, which I know you guys have asked uh, about how is that aged. I have been wearing that one. That one is much thicker and it's wool lined. But I wanted to give this one, this Y2, a bit of a go. And now that I have this, I think what I'll do, uh, because we're supposed to get like around the 50s, give this one some love for sure and wear this out. And then as I stated, just have like, you know, another layer uh, because I will wear it open, have this layer with a vest and um, phone and keys and all that. Have to maybe put the keys in my back pocket or something. But yeah, this is really cool. Now there's a lot like Shinky has a tremendous, uh, tremendous reputation for being a really high quality hide. Um, and um, T, uh, TJ was telling me about it and how this, some of these uh, jackets that he just got in will have like some scars because it's just, you know, this, you're getting this, um, this hide, this beautiful hide, chinky hide, and they're giving it to you as is, which is really cool. And I think on the back, there's some, a little bit of scarring somewhere on this, uh, on the back of the, the jacket itself. But uh, we had a fantastic conversation about uh, the jacket and, and the, the um, Shinky hide. And he has a couple others that he, that you guys have probably seen if you do follow him on social um, that he was showing me. But uh, I'm very excited to um, add this one to the collection, this flight flight uh, jacket. So uh, if you know like uh, Helix and um, Fine Creek, there's like, they have like uh, uh, jean type jackets and then they do flight jackets, car coats and um, like moto style jackets. But I don't really do the moto jackets. It's not something that I like for my style, but um, this one I had, I had seen and and putting it on was what sold it for me. I was just like, yes, this is absolutely perfect because I have um, tried on a type two and I didn't really like the way the type two looked on me. I love how it looks on other people, but when I put it on for me, I just didn't like the way the pockets um, were sit on it. So it just, just didn't work for me. So this one having the pockets a bit lower and then also the collar being like kind of like a Shaw, a Shaw type where it's curved instead of this pointy, um, just is really, really neat. And then also being cotton lined, this one, this can definitely be an all season. Well, maybe not humid summer, but you can definitely wear this in the late summer and then well late in spring before it, it gets a little too, uh, too balmy. So. And also, the, so for me, the color as well. And I don't really like black coats. 
Um, it's just a little too boring for me. So having this one being like a dark, it's almost like where TJ and I were talking about it. It's almost like a plum kind of color when you see it. It doesn't completely come across. Maybe it does, but I like that like dark, dark, rich brown, even though they call it black. <laughs> uh, I'm a fan of that because it just, uh, in certain lights, I'm sure in daylight, I don't think I've had, to, yeah, I have taken it in daylight. Um, you'll kind of be able to see like this, just a beautiful, beautiful rich color, just beautiful. Um, so, oh, actually I could do a comparison while I have these things side by side, maybe you can see. So you can see how this one has like that sheen to it. And this is just like a kind of like muted matte kind of color. You can see. They label this one black, they label this one black, and I'm sure you guys can see that it's far from a black leather coat. But, um, oh, you know, a funny story. <laughs> so um, I bought this and then I just left it in the bag and then I was gonna fly home Christmas night. And so I put this on and I sat in the Uber and the smell just like new leather jacket smell that was just coming off of the, the coat while I'm sitting in the back of the Uber with the windows up and it's raining and it's, I'm just like, I can't, there's no way I'm going to take a flight five hours from Vancouver to New York city, wearing a brand new leather jacket and having that smell, smell, uh, I, I'm just going to get nauseous. So <laughs> after I went through security, I took off my jacket, actually it was already off, put it in my bag, took the other jacket that I wore to Vancouver and wore that for the flight because I was like, yeah, there's no way I'll, I'll end up getting <laughs> get vomiting from the smell. Uh, but um, took it out and it's been out of the bag and just kind of like airing out. And uh, yeah, super excited to, uh, to wear this bad boy. But uh, yeah, my first Fine Creek & Co. leather jacket and my first A1 uh, flight style type jacket. So uh, I don't know what else to say. Thank you guys for watching and um, what I have something coming. Oh, I'm going to do someone requested a video about style and why I chose um, chose the boots that I wear now instead of the boots I wore a year ago or so. I have to I'm going to do something about that, but it was a really uh, good um, video request, so I'll, I will do that for you. So thank you guys for watching. And something that I don't, um, I always forget to mention, but uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you wish. But thank you guys for watching. And um, I'm, yeah, we'll see you in 2023 with more goodies. Bye.